morning, boys and girls. Last Sunday was just amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Did you enjoy last Sunday? Once again, welcome to Mavuno Kids Service. My name is Hypsis and I am with Ike, the DJ. And of course, this month we are focusing on the theme BFF Best Friends Forever. And right now, I know it's the best session that you like. Get some space, remove that table that is distracting you, and make sure you have fun for Jesus. Let's go, DJ Ike. Let's go, Ike the DJ. Come on now. Let me see you clap. Let me tell you something. If Jesus is fighting for you, for your family, for your friends, for your teachers, for your pastors, clap your hands. God, you will trust in Jesus because he's a true friend, a true, true friend. And right now, I just I want, want to, to invite God you just a moment. We talked about to just one sound. worship God say one sound. by lifting your hands to him, there surrendering everything to him. There Surrender your life, 
Everybody say that. There Surrender your freedom. friends to him. Say it Surrender again. your there parents, your teachers, and everyone to him. And, I want you to understand and we're just going to sing this song of hallelujah. hallelujah praise. Just declaring his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Come on, just lift your hands. You I have want the victory. Raise your voice to God. If you know this song with us, just sing with us. Say hallelujah. He has won the victory. You have won he has won it all for us. For and death could not hold him down. Death could not hold you Come on now. That's the good news we have. You are the reason. Peace. Seated high in majesty. Yeah. Come on, kids. You're seated in majesty. Indeed, he is the reason king and the king of kings. Yeah. Wow, you are the reason, King, oh Lord, and we worship you, Father. One more time, say. You have won the victory, kids. Come on, sing from the deepest part of your house. Shout it loud for your neighbors to hear. Say hallelujah. You have won the victory and won it all. Come on, celebrate and say that death could not hold you down. The reason king, come on. He's seated high in majesty. Uh, and we declare that you're seated in majesty. I want to majesty. Every boy and girl say the reason king. You are the reason. Father, we thank you. We thank you and we worship you. I want us to worship because you came. You love me so much. You love every boy and girl watching us today. I want us to worship God that you sent your only son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. That's an amazing, amazing news. And it did not end there because death could not hold him down. Christ resurrected. And now we have the victory. Victory over sin. Victory over disobedience. We have victory over everything. And so, Father, we worship you. We raise a hallelujah to you as children. We give you praise, O oh Lord, because indeed you are a wonder-working, miracle God. Thank you for providing and sustaining my teachers. Thank you for giving me a best friend. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my pastors, O oh Lord. And we worship you today and magnify your name. In Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Yeah. God is fighting for us. God is on our side. He has overcome. Hi, friends. How are you today? My name is Teacher Josh. I'm so glad to be here. Welcome to our third week of our series, BFF, Best Friends Forever. Yay! I am here with my friend, Ethan. Hey! Hello, hello, friends! You know, today I'm so super excited because I made a new friend. You know, his name is Teacher Josh, and Teacher Josh is so handsome, and also he's a good friend, as you will come to learn. Uh, let's celebrate Teacher Josh and give him a warm welcome. Woohoo! Oh, really? I am handsome. That's amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Ethan. I feel home already. Wow, I am so glad to be here. Boys and girls, today we continue our series on friendship. And we are going to learn about best friends. And we know best friends are people who are faithful in good times and in bad times. But first, happy Father's Day. All the dads who are here. We love and honor you. God bless you and let's see some messages.
beautiful messages from our children wow kids thank you so much for sending all those messages in in celebrating our dads Ethan do you have any close friends like friends who always are there for you when you need them most yeah yeah teacher Josh um, I have my brother Ryan and he is a super good friend to me Super, super good. Mm -hmm. hmm. Me, I thought Ryan is your brother. Oh, really? I didn't know he's your brother. Amazing. But that's fine. A friend, uh, not your brother, huh? Teacher Josh, yeah. Uh, you know, Ryan is a super close friend to me, I must say. Um, he's more like a brother. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's wow. You beat me on your game, Ethan. Kids, even you, your brother or your sister can be your close friend, you know. Tell us, how do you know Ryan has your back, Ethan? Uh, well, yeah, he does. He really does. Uh, there was this one day at school I had. Mm -hmm. I just had my lunch and I happened to... Uh, you know, to just come across some, some, you know, those bad boys, bullies. And they started shouting at me, hey, watch where you're going, you loser. You know, they shouted at me. Can you imagine they called me a loser? Me, loser. And then they pushed me and they almost started to punch me. And I was so scared. Then, suddenly, guess who showed up? Ryan, of course. They were so mean. How could they do that? But we celebrate Ryan. Ryan is really amazing. Hmm. Please, tell us, what did he do? What well, we are too curious to know. Okay, yeah, Ryan stood right there between me and the, and the bullies. And he told them, hey guys, if you dare hit Ethan, I will report this to the principal. And I mean it, I'm going to do it. And you know... On hearing that, they all ran into different directions and everybody fears the principal and they knew Ryan was serious about it. Oh, wow. Ryan really did an amazing thing. Oh, that's amazing. Ryan truly got your back, Ethan. Yeah, he did. You know, he's a pretty cool friend. He protected me and he's so kind to me and we help each other that way. And sometimes we forgive each other when we have to. <laughs> sometimes we make mistakes and that means we have to forgive each other to remain as good friends, huh? Yeah, forgiveness is good. I know. That's really awesome. How about your friends? Do you have best, for, uh, do you have best friends you can count on? Friends to play at home, in church, in school. And did you know that Jesus also can be your best friend? Let's dive in into our Bible and we read about two friends that you'll find them in the Bible and their best friends. Get your Bibles. Have you got your Bible? Get your Bible so that we read the story of David and Jonathan in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 20 from verse 1 to 17. David honestly asked me for permission to go to Bethlehem. He said, let me go because our family is observing a sacrifice in the town and my brother has ordered me to be there. If I have found favor in your eyes, let me get away to see my brothers. That is why he has not come to the king's table. Saul's anger flared up at Jonathan, and he said to him, You son of a perverse and rebellious woman, don't I know that you have sided with the son of Jess to your own shame and to the shame of the mother who bore you? 
as long as the son of Jess lives on this earth, neither you nor your kingdom will be established. Now send someone to bring him to me, for he must die. Why should he be put to death? What has he done? Jonathan asked his father. But Saul held his spear at him to kill him. Then Jonathan knew that his father intended to kill David. Jonathan got up from the table in fierce anger. On the second day of the feast, he didn't even eat because he was grieved at the father's shameful treatment of David. Verse 41 says, David got up from the south side of the stone and bowed down before Jonathan three times with his face to the ground. Then they hugged each other and wept together. But David wept the most. Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying, The Lord is witness between you and me, between your descendants and my descendants forever. Then David left, and Jonathan went back to the town. Oh, that is so, it's such a very moving story, Teacher Josh. They were truly great friends, and, and they were royal to each other, too. Oh, yes, really cool, cool friends. And it's a very moving story. Very moving. They both kept their promises to one another, and they will protect each other. What else can we learn from the story, Ethan? Oh, I know, I know. Uh, Jonathan warned David about his father's plot to kill him, and so he helped David escape. And by doing that, Jonathan saved David's life. Yes, Jonathan really did. He really helped uh, save his friend. You are right, Ethan. Jonathan wisely discovered that what his father was planning and alerted David. Uh, David and Jonathan were really cool friends. And they are very, very, very close. And so they remained best friends forever. Best friends forever. You know, thank you so much, Teacher Josh, for sharing such a, a moving and a wonderful story about friendship. Yes, it's really good to learn about friendship. You're most welcome, Ethan. Friends at home, how about you? What kind of friends do you have? Do you only have friends who are your friends because you have good toys, you have a new bike, a doll? Or do you have friends who, when you don't have good things, they run away from you? Do you have those kinds of friends? Or they stop becoming your friends because you can no longer uh, share things with them? <laughs> I know the kind of friend you're talking about. Ooh, yeah, this is a bit embarrassing, teacher Josh, because I was once that kind of a friend. You see, um, there was this new family that moved to our estate. And they had a son called JJ. Oh, TJ Josh. JJ had the coolest toys in the neighborhood. He had a hoverboard and lots of action figures and remote controlled supercars. So, you only went to JJ uh, to share his toys and because he had cool things. I hear you, Ethan. Yeah. JJ had all the toys you, want, uh, you wanted to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Titi Josh, and so when uh, we went out to play, I wanted to just play with his toys so much, so I pretended. <sighs> yes, I did, to be his friend. Uh, but when his mom told him to leave his toys in the house and, and just play football, well, I didn't hang around him anymore. So you pretended, Ethan. I see what you mean, but I hope you are a better friend now. Oh, yeah, Titi Josh. My mom found out and corrected me. <laughs> she did, yeah. Um, even though I hung out with JJ, it's not just because of the toys, but for other games too. He is also a super goaler. You know, he's the coolest goal. Oh, wow, a goaler. I am glad to hear about you, kids. How are you? Your friends, only are they only friends in good times? But when times get bad, you have friends who run away and you are alone. Do, you, uh, do your friends help you when you need them? Or they run away from you? Do you 
tell them uh, sorry when they hurt you. Remember, God wants us to be true friends in good times and in bad, uh, in bad times. Friends, we are happy when something good happens to your friends. And when bad things happen to them, you also help a hand and you give them uh, some help. Or what do you think is that? Yeah, teacher. You know, um, good friends like Ryan and JJ also protect me from those bad bullies, especially because they are bigger and stronger than me. And when you see something wrong, they report it. Yeah, those are good friends. They report when someone has done something wrong. Hmm, that sounds like David and Jonathan. In this story, uh, King Saul was acting like a bully. Of course, King Saul was a bully. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan was a good friend, even in bad times. Kids, you can ask God to help you in good times, and even when uh, it's bad time, he can help you. And now it's time that we all love. It's time for memory verse. Kids, let's sing together. A friend loves it all times. Yeah, a friend loves it all times. A friend loves it all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. You're not alone. Don't you fear. I'm your friend. I'm always near. I'll forgive and help you through. When you need me, I am here for you. to read your Bible, pray every day, and memorize the verse. And that's just it for today. Wow, thank you so much, Teacher Josh. You know, that was such a great lesson for me. And from now on, I will be a good friend to my friends um, in good times and in hard times. Friends are friends forever. Can I sing that song? Friends are friends forever. If the Lord is the Lord of them, and a friend will not say never. Woo! Anyway, I have goosebumps. I, I think I'll just sing up to that part. <laughs> wow, and you have such an amazing, amazing voice. Wow, I didn't know you sing like that. Kids, will, will you be kind of a friend too? The friend who helps in good times and in bad times? I hope you will. I have a great time today, and I'm looking forward to meeting you again. Let us pray. Let's put our hands together. We pray. Dear Lord, please help us be faithful uh, to you and to our friends. Please bless us to have uh, true friends, friends in good times and in bad times, friends like David and Jonathan. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And my friends, I hope we can be friends forever. If Jesus Christ is going to be our friend, 
then we will be friends forever. Bye, see you next time. Bye, bye, Ethan. Bye, boys and girls. God bless you all. Good time. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? And remember, it's a very simple song. You do what I do and you do what the song says. Simple, simple, simple. But then this one requires you to get off your feet, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's tell the DJ to hit it. Slowly. Annabelle, uh -huh. very happy to be here with you. Me too. But first, before we continue, today uh -huh. is Father's Day. Woo so a very big happy Father's Day to all dads watching yeah. from wherever you are. We love you, we honor you, and we thank God for that you are part of our lives. Absolutely. We're so grateful for all of you. Happy, happy Father's Day. And, and you know what, Masi? What? The boys and girls at home wrote some really special messages for dads, and we're going to see that right about now. for sending these messages to celebrate your dads, right? So this yes. month we're doing friendship. How has that been for you, Teacher Masi? Hmm. Now this friendship series mm -hmm. reminds me of the kind of friend that I was in high school. Mm -hmm. You see, my friend once took me to visit my auntie uh -huh. who gave us amazing snacks, money. I love those Amazing aunts. gifts, really. Yeah. So when we got back to school and uh -huh. it was time to share my snacks, mm -hmm. I hid away from my friend oh -oh. and I refused to share with her. She was so disappointed in me. That is very, very hurtful. I know. <laughs> and I hope you've changed now, have you? Yes, I have. Okay, I'm better very good now. Yeah, I was getting afraid. So, boys and girls, we know now what not to do in mm -hmm. friendship. And we have a better example of the kind of friends that God wants us to be through a story in the Bible. So, David and Jonathan, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, David and Jonathan mm -hmm. are very good examples of best friends forever. Yep. And in this case, mm -hmm. we, David had told Jonathan yes. that his father, Jonathan's father, Saul, mm -hmm. wanted to kill David. Uh -oh. But Jonathan 
did not believe it uh -huh. because Saul mm -hmm. had not discussed this matter with him at all as, yeah. as he discussed everything else with Jonathan. It was a secret. So yeah, their story mm -hmm. comes from 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 28 uh -huh. to 34. All right, get your Bibles. Jonathan answered, David honestly asked me for permission to go to Bethlehem. Uh -huh. He said, let me go because our family is observing a sacrifice in the town uh -huh. and my brother has uh -huh. ordered me to be there. Mm -hmm. If I have found favor in your eyes, mm -hmm. let me get away to see my brothers. Mm -hmm. That is why he has not come to the king's table. Uh -huh. Saul's anger flared up at Jonathan and he said to him, mm -hmm. You son of a perverse and rebellious woman, uh -oh. don't I know that you have sided with that son of Jesse to your own shame no and way. to the shame of the mother who bore you? Mm -hmm. As long as the son of Jesse lives on this earth, mm -hmm. neither you nor your kingdom will be established. Oh, now, oh. send someone to bring me, bring David to me, mm -hmm. for he must die. Oh, oh. Why should he be put to death? What has he done? Jonathan asked his father. But Saul hurled a spear at him to kill him. Mm -hmm. Then Jonathan knew that his father intended to kill David. Jonathan got up from the table in fierce anger and mm -hmm. on that second day of the feast mm -hmm. he did not eat mm -hmm. because he was so grieved at his father's shameful treatment of David. Oh no, indeed that was extremely shameful. I can't even imagine <sighs> how heartbreaking that must have been for David, for Jonathan, yes. finding out that his own dad was going mm -hmm. to kill his best friend. I can imagine. Even more heartbreaking teacher Annabelle mm -hmm. is that Jonathan had to go back to David to confirm that it is true, it oh, was true, yeah. that his father, Saul, mm -hmm. intended to kill his own best friend, David. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. to pass on that message to David, mm -hmm. he used a young boy mm -hmm. as a coded messenger mm -hmm. who se he sent him to the field to call out David. Yeah. And this is how their story goes. Uh-huh. David got up from the south side of the stone mm -hmm. and bowed down before Jonathan three times with his face to the ground. Mm -hmm. Then they kissed each other and wept together. Oh. But David mm -hmm. wept the most. Oh, yeah. Jonathan said to David, uh -huh. Go in peace, mm -hmm. for we have sworn friendship with each other in the name of the Lord, saying, Yeah. The Lord is witness between you and me yeah. and between our descendants yeah. and my descendants forever. Mm -hmm. Then David left mm -hmm. and Jonathan went back to the town. Oh, wow. That is such a powerful story on friendship. It is. Jonathan was an amazing friend. You know what I'd call him? What? I'd call him an all-weather friend. And that's the kind of friend I want, mm -hmm. you know? A friend who will stick by in good times and in very, very hard times. Mm -hmm. Teacher Annabelle, mm -hmm. can you explain to me and to the boys and girls at home what an all-weather friend is? Good stuff. I thought okay. you'd never ask. I have a whole bag for that. Okay. So here we go. Hmm. It's an all-weather bag package. What do we have in here? Maybe we could put it down here? Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Hmm. We have a pair of sheets. Yes. Would you guess what that is in friendship? Hmm. I imagine mm -hmm. that this shade uh -huh. and perhaps this jacket... Uh -huh mean that an all-weather friend mm -hmm. is like someone who covers us, mm -hmm. protects us from the harsh winds of life when they come blowing hard at us. Is Absolutely. that it? Absolutely. And the sun, right? Yes. Because those gases definitely keep you from the sun and yes. they're so cool. Yes. They'll keep so you from all harshness, you know, yes. of the sun. And you know what? That's what Jonathan did because David... Mm -hmm. Boy, didn't it get hot for him. It Very was really, hot. really bad. But then mm -hmm. Jonathan was there to cover him from the harshness of his yes. own dad, Father, right? right? Yeah, so we'll see what I have here next. I have an umbrella. Okay. And I have my boots, but I'm already wearing them. So 
There we go. Ooh. It's so cute, right? Very cute. So what do you think an umbrella would represent in a friendship? I wonder what an umbrella means. So an umbrella would be mm -hmm. um, a cover from the rain. Wow. And so the rains in life would probably be very difficult times, you know. When you're that sick, maybe. When you're sick, when Your you want to give up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then guess what the boots are for? What are the boots for, the teacher boots? Annabelle? The boots are to walk with your friends when it gets muddy and mucky yeah. and nasty, you know. Mm -hmm. So I want to be that kind of friend. And we want you also to be that friend who walks through the mud and the rain with your friends, right? That's amazing. True. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. What a else couple do we more have? things. Yes. There's a lot more in here. Uh -huh. Wow. A hat. A yeah. sun hat. Uh-huh. That's so, beautiful. I think... Mm -hmm. A sun hat means uh -huh. that a good friend is there to cover you from the harsh rays of the sun, just like this hat would protect me from the harsh rays of the sun. So maybe mm -hmm. it means speaking up from my friends That's when right. they're being bullied in school. Yes, and bullies are bad. You yeah. have to speak up for your friends. We have to cover them and protect them from all that, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We still have some more. <gasps> So I have a scarf here, mm -hmm. and then, we then can get more. Ah. Thank you. We even have gloves. I can hold the umbrella for you. Thank you so much, Teacher Masi. I can see you have become a good friend. Right? All right. So I have some pretty warm gloves, and I have my fingers out there, <laughs> so that I can do even much more. So what this means for a friend is that a friend will keep you warm when it's very, very cold. Yeah. Teacher Masi, yes. you know what's been going on for this one year and a half? It's yes. been crazy. You know, the pandemic has been a very difficult situation for many families. It has. And I'm sure that you and really we all have needed a friend that mm -hmm. will keep us warm in very, very difficult and this long season of cold, right? Yes, absolutely. We have seen so many many losses mm -hmm. and that means we needed good friends more than ever before absolutely boys and girls mm -hmm. i hope you have experienced some warmth mm -hmm. from your friends or that you have been that warmth to your friends calling them up yes. visiting them if possible playing. including them in your play yes, absolutely and absolutely. praying together as well hmm. yes. so we all want to be all, all weather, weather friends. friends yeah I think we <laughs> look just like that. So you two, you're welcome to be an all-weather friend. What do we have next, Teacher Masi? We have the memory verse to remind us to do just that. Girls, we hope you have been memorizing the verse and you know it by heart right now. Yep. But other than that, we have come to the end of our lesson today. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our company and that I you, sure did. you shall remember to yeah. be all weather friends mm -hmm. to your friends as well. Mm -hmm. So friends mm -hmm. in good times and bad. Yes, and you know what, Teacher Marcy, we always have the Holy Spirit 
Holy yes. Spirit will be our friend in, you know, the rain and the sun all the time. And mm -hmm. he's there to help us also be good friends. Uh, we can pray now to Jamasi. Let's pray to Annabelle. All right, amazing. Dear Lord, we're so grateful for today. Thank you for teaching us to be all weather friends, to be there for our friends in good times, in bad times. Mm -hmm. And thank you also for giving us all the friends that we have. We pray that, Lord, we're going to show them every time that we deeply appreciate them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Bye-bye, right. boys and girls. We'll Bye. see you next week. Welcome boys and girls for another wonderful episode of Taste and See and today we have our little twist to how we do things. I'll give my two amazing friends a piece of food for them to taste and they get to tell me each and every ingredient that is in contained in the food. So here we go. Baraka. <sighs> okay. Zoe? <laughs> oh! Uh, uh. Mm. Apple? Okay, let's start with Baraka. Uh -huh. Apple? Uh -huh. I think apple cider or vinegar. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure. I don't know the last one if there is. Zoe? I'd have to go with apple, black vinegar, or apple cider. And... Okay, so, you can all unblade pull. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it taste? Weird. First it was, first it was sweet and then it went... Yeah, bitter. yeah. Okay, so we mixed, I mixed a, a piece, I took a piece of lemon, a uh, piece of an apple, mm -hmm. vinegar, and soda. So, soda? <laughs> so boys and girls, do you have some foods that your parents have forbidden you from eating? And today, in our Taste and See episode, we get to look at the foods in the Bible that were forbidden. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready? Ready like Freddy. Who's Freddy? Freddy? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start. Uh, same rules apply. I'll ask you a question. You only have one chance to get it right. Okay? So the first question. <laughs> Bats, kites, and herons were nicely grilled and served in a Jewish home. True or false? Um, and this question to Zoe. False. Correct. Yay! It contains some of the forbidden foods in the Bible. Second question, Baraka. The weasel, the mouse, and the foggy were a regular dish in Moses. The whistle, the mouse, and the foggy were a regular dish in Moses' time. True or false? I think that's um, false. Correct. <laughs> Yay. And you can all, you got it right. You can have a sweet thing. Uh, Barack, you can have a sweet thing. Third question. Zoe, what was the name of the tree Adam and Eve were forbidden to eat from? Um, an apple tree. Huh? <laughs> what? So false. <laughs> well, technically, it, the tree was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And today, we are not eating lemons when we get it wrong. No, 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 teacher no, no. Aki, Please. have We're mercy. A drink of have vinegar. mercy, so, teacher. Zoe. Please. Have mercy on our tiny souls. 
If our Zoe. parents watch this, hiya, hiya. Mm. Okay, okay. Zoe. Uh-huh. This is what again? Okay. That's vinegar. I'll take it. Okay. Thou shall not lie. <laughs> Jesus help you so. Pray for me. <laughs> Are you okay? I will be. <laughs> <laughs> Baraka. Mm -hmm. Daniel, while in Babylon, purposed in his heart not to eat meat from the king's table. What meat did he say no to? Um, was it donkey? Let's look at the answer. So the Bible doesn't exactly specify which meat it was. So the answer is meat. Just meat and wine. Okay, just a quick thing. Then why did you ask me what kind of meat? That's why you say meat. You know. So, vinegar, here you go. Just a bit of it. I remember saying, have a taste of your vinegar. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Last two questions, and you better get this right, or it's still vinegar time. There's no, she doesn't have vinegar. Don't yeah. worry, we'll be sharing. <laughs> shrimp, Zoe, mm -hmm. shrimp, crab, and lobster. They're all tasty, all crunchy. Would you have found them served in a Bible time restaurant? Five thousand years ago. Um, True or false? No, as in, would you yes or no? <laughs> Shrimp? No. Hmm? No. Oh yeah. No. no I'm Are you sure? No, so I can't change my answer. So you're sticking to that answer? Yeah. Oh dear Lord, I'm also praying for you. No. You're okay. right. They are all forbidden foods. Have a chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> Final questions to Baraka. Are you ready? Not really. Uh, should I give you some time? Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Kill and eat. These were words spoken to Peter, the apostle of Jesus. What kind of food was he to kill? And eat. Um, meat. You, that's your final answer. Final, final answer. Yes. Well, so you didn't exactly lose, but you also not right. So I'm tempted. So the answer is all forbidden food. All the forbidden foods in Israel. All the forbidden foods the Israelites were told you not to eat. Even the meat. Even the meat. So. She can take a sip of. She can take a sip of vinegar and a chocolate. True. Sip of vinegar. <coughs> take a vinegar first. Take a vinegar. <coughs> mm. Oh, thank God. Uh. Mm. Are you okay? Oh yeah. The vinegar was. Kids, please do not try taking vinegar at home. <laughs> please, for your own test bags. Yes. So, the major, major lessons we learned today is God had a very good reason why He forbade some of these foods to be eaten by the Israelites. Even when they didn't quite understand it all they had to do was obey and as we will learn later he allowed people under uh, 
under the new covenant to fully enjoy his creation. Yeah. That one food was made us all happy. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Pork. Yum. <laughs> but I wish I'd be full bad from taking vinegar. I'll ask my mom to grab me from vinegar. <laughs> Prawns. What about you boys and girls? Like Baraka, obedience is more mm. important to us. Sometimes he just gives instructions to us and all we have to do is obey. Way true. First Corinthians 10 31. Say whatever then you eat or drink or whatever you do. Do all of the glory for God. That's all for now. See you again next time. Adios, amigos. Bye. Bye bye. Till next time. <laughs>